does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back here today for another episode of Skip the Rules. And today we're skipping the rules for Clue Diced from Hasbro Gaming. This is for three or four players. Now, if it's your first time playing, I do want to mention that you have to follow these directions right here and how to put your stickers on, but you have that in front of you. Now, starting off the game, you're going to separate all the cards into their own unique piles. Brawn, Driver, and Brain. So you see we have a whole bunch of Brawn right here, a whole bunch of Driver. You get it. If you're playing the basic version of the game, you're actually going to set the Driver off to the side. You can put it back in the box. Now, if you're playing the advanced version of the game i'll show you how that works at the end of the video but you will need the driver cards now that you have your brawn and your brains pile right here you're going to shuffle them up like so and then you're going to take the top card of each deck without anyone being able to see them and you're going to slide them into your confidential envelope exactly like this and you want to make sure you put it just like that and the reason why is because uh, there's a little slot right here which will allow you to see the color, and that's going to come and play a little bit later. But when you're first setting that up, you want to make sure you do it just like that. Now you're going to take the remainder of the cards, and then you're going to deal them out evenly to all the players. So let's pretend we have a three-player game. Now this could mean that someone has more cards than someone else. That's not a big deal. Don't worry about it at all. Next, you're going to make sure that everyone has one of these sheets right here and a pencil or a pen. And you're going to look at the cards in your hand very secretly. And you're going to mark off who is not in the envelope. So for right now, I have uh, yellow and purple brains, which means I would mark off the yellow and purple brain because I know that is not going to be in the confidential envelope. And that is the whole point of the game is that you figure out what two cards are in the confidential envelope. And I also have one green brawn, so I'd mark this off right here. And once again, I would be keeping all of this very secret. And once again, if you're playing in the basic version, you can just ignore the driver part right over here. So once everyone has marked on their sheet what cards they have, the youngest player is going to go first and they are gonna roll the four dice in the center. Now what you're going to do is what's called making a suggestion. You want to make sure you're on the detective side and not the master detective side, which once again will have the driver right there. And you're going to place two of your black dice onto the board right here, essentially asking the question, saying, I think purple might have the brains, and I think blue might have the brawn, and I could just go purple, purple if I really wanted to as well. In fact, let's do that. So what I'm doing by putting the two purples right here is asking anyone else at the table if they have a card that has either purple brains or purple brawn. So starting with the player to my left, they're going to look in their hand secretly and slide me over one and only one card if it meets here. Now, had this player had both the purple brawn and the purple brains, they would get to decide which one they slid me. But so now they would slide this over to me. I would now see that purple brawn is in fact not in that confidential envelope. And I would mark off purple brawn right there, moving me one step closer to winning the game. Now, if this player did not have a purple card, then it would come to this player right here to see if they had a purple card. Once again, they would follow the same rules. Slide me one if they had one. And if no players have any purple information, well, then that phase of my turn would be done. Which now means we're going to look at this blue bonus die right here, which is going to have four different symbols on it, which we'll go over each one real quick. The first one is the question mark, and this one is about the third die, and this is actually really nicely done right here. But essentially, you're going to put this in front of someone and say, do you have any information about the blue character? And now this player would look secretly in their hand to see if they have a blue. They do not. They say, nope, sorry, don't have anything. And that phase of my turn would be over. If they did, however, have a blue, they would have to slide it to me. And once again, if they had two blue, they could pick which one they wanted to slide over to me to take a look at it. The next symbol you'll see is the magnifying glass, which allows you to take a peek at one card in any player's hand. And it's really quite simple. You say, all right, I'm taking a peek at this card. You grab it out of their hand, you mark it back down, and then you slide it back to them. The third symbol you'll see is the keyhole right here. And that comes back with this confidential envelope. So essentially what you do, you're going to flip this over. And now you know that the blue character is either the brawn or the brains. And so you'll definitely want to take a little note on your sheet about that. Last but not least, we have the finger pointing right here, which is the make an accusation one. And how this works is you get to take two of the dice, if you're on the basic side, and put them however you want to do them and say, all right, I think that green was the brawn and blue was the brains. And once again, the player on the left now has to disprove this. If they can, then they once again slide you a card and then that phase is over. However, if they cannot, it goes to this player. And if they can't disprove it, then you might potentially have won the game, unless, of course, you actually secretly had one of these in your hand. But either way, unlike making a regular accusation which we're about to talk about next there is no penalty if you're wrong during this so it's a great opportunity to get some free information 
So once you've dealt with whatever's on your blue die down here, you go to the final phase of your turn, which is to make a final accusation. And this one is optional. You don't have to do it if you want, because if you're wrong, you lose the entire game. So let's just pretend I thought it was red and yellow. I say, all right, I'm making a final accusation. I now take a peek in here and I say, oh, that's not what I thought was going on. And now I am actually eliminated from the game, but I still need to stay here to disprove other people's theories with my three cards right here. But I I cannot win is between these two players now. Had I been correct though, I would reveal the cards and I would win the game and celebrate. But you're going to continue to do this taking turns until someone has gotten a final accusation correct, at which point they will be the winner of the game. But now let's talk about Master Detective and what is slightly different about this one. So the major difference is now there's going to be three people involved in the crime. There will be Brawn, Brains, and a Driver, which means at the beginning of the game, you're going to take one of each of these and then secretly put it into the envelope. And now you have to figure out all three. One thing I want to mention right now is on your turn, you're still only going to place two dice like so with the third dice setting off to the side. But the difference is when you make an accusation, aka try to win the game, that's when you'll be placing all three dice and you have to get all three correct inside the envelope in order to win the game. Other than that, the game is the exact same as the basic version. But that's how you play Clue Dice. If this video helped you out, please give this a like and let me know where in the world I helped you out. And as always, thanks for your time. Go have some fun.